How's it going everyone? Zabby here and welcome to another episode of the Complete Guide to Fishing Planet. Today we're going to be going to Falcon Lake and catching every single fish here and completing a bunch of the challenges. Let's just go to baits here real quick before we go ahead and buy ourselves a new rod. We got some crawfish which honestly we probably don't need to bring here. Cut bait we don't need to bring here. So we can go with some shrimp, small minnows, marshmallows, blood worms, leeches, red worms. You don't have leeches um just grab some more worms if you're level 18 you can even grab some night crawlers i'm gonna bring a couple of those just because we haven't used them yet for hook sizes we're not gonna need the 40 or the 50 here we'll just roll with these these should be perfectly fine for getting our fish in the last video i hinted towards getting a new match rod and that's exactly what we're gonna do so let's go ahead and grab the nero 330 here this is the level 11 rod costs 3500 bucks the line weight maxes out at five kilograms so let's go ahead and grab that i went ahead and grabbed the aspira mlr 3000 that's what we're going to be rocking with this nero 330 we can go ahead and equip that now we just need some line to match it i had some of this fluoro in my backpack this is 5.5 kilogram test fluoro i'm going to go ahead and equip it. it is it is a little bit stronger than our current set than our rod and our reel but i think it's going to be just fine for what we're going to use it for also in the last video we unlocked this x-series sport we're going to go ahead and use that and we're also going to bring this chubby one with us we did have it in the last episode and that's what we've been using for the most part i'm going to bring it with us just in case we have heavy bait and this bobber is not going to work i just want to have options for our spinning setup i'm just going to go ahead and bring the exact same thing we brought in the last episode i am bringing a casting spoon with us this time i got rid of that other spinner here we didn't need and i'm going to bring this casting spoon with us i still have the turtle spoon as well because we're going to falcon this is going to be very very handy here so if you don't have this you can always go to rocky and grab it but this turtle spoon is going to be very good here, guys. So here are the completed three setups. We got the Omni Float 350 with the Crucian Hunter 3000. This is still our bottom of the barrel rod. It's going to be okay here for the panfish. We're just holding on to it for now until we can afford another upgrade on our match rod. Then we got our newly up, our newly purchased Nero 330 with our Aspire MLR 3000. We got 5.5 kilogram fluoro on there. And we're going to be using that for the trout and the panfish as well. And then obviously we got our feather light setup, which is all good to go. That's all we're going to be bringing we're gonna have our keep net here this is our 30 kilo or a 70 kilogram keep net that we got with our dlc rod this is gonna be fine here grab whatever keep net you can bring or whatever stringer you can bring guys the biggest one you can you'll make money here it's decent the travel cost isn't too bad grab an advanced license and let's head on over to falcon lake welcome to falcon lake everybody first things first let's go on over to missions here and take a quick look we got falcon exploration unlocked we gotta catch the pumpkin seed the red breast sunfish the rock bass and the smallmouth bass now i honestly don't think i ever completed this one i'm gonna throw on number eight hooks here on both of my setups i got the red worms on we will swap out the baits and everything i'm using 50 and 60 centimeter depth i will throw a conversion up on the screen for you imperial guys but we've been using that basically this whole series for the pan fish so it's not too much different than what we've been doing already come on down to a bridge of logs guys this spawn point down here just at the very bottom and i'm just gonna cast off this bridge right here i'm just gonna cast right in front of us no particular area we're just gonna try and grab some of these pan fish well i actually can't use this right there so let's just go under the grass here and we'll just do it from this area right here again not a big deal uh you can get brown trout here as well but we're just going to go after the pan fish throw that down not very far very very shallow it actually doesn't look like it's even moving might be snagged up there wow this reel has a lot of different settings for the drag which is perfect actually i'm 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 completely okay with that there we go we got a fish on nice bring this bad boy in grab the pumpkin seed already perfect i threw on some night crawlers and ended up grabbing the red breast sunfish right to the left there so you definitely can grab them here i just put on some night crawlers we just need the rock bass now and smallmouth bass and then we are good to go come on over to mountain watcher this is where we're going to go after the bass try and get this done a little bit quicker there's just this log right here that i'm going to fish near and we're also going to be using our spinning rod here as well now i have a bass jig i didn't tell you guys to bring one and i'm still using the same depth as before so no need to change it up we're just going to cast right here and hopefully we can get something going i'm going to use leeches i got night crawlers on the other one either one should work and then i think instead of using this narrow spoon here on the spinning rod i'm going to go with this bass jig now i didn't tell you guys to bring one if you do have one give it a shot you can also try the casting spoon uh, this might help you get the small mouth a little bit quicker but we're just gonna cast probably out to about there and see if we can get the get the small mouth in and there we go we pull in a small mouth bass on the bass jig i will try and get it another way so you guys have an idea because i didn't tell you to bring that 
but the casting spoon should definitely work hopefully this is the, the rock bass and it is there we go we get lucky we get both of them in a row so there you go you can use leeches you can use night crawlers let me try and bring in one of these small mouth on a casting spoon so you guys can use that and i'll also try and use float rods to bring one of these in all right so all i did was put on night crawlers go up to a number one hook size for these bass again the same depth as before hopefully we can bring in one of these small mouth on these just because i want you guys to have some options here but yeah nice and easy to grab this and finish the exploration mission here in falcon there's honestly not too many different types of fish there's a couple bass a couple pan fish a couple different types of trout and that's really all there is here so it's nice and easy doesn't take a whole lot and then let's throw on this casting spoon here but again if you do have the jig the bass jig go ahead and use that now for the falcon trout mission there's a couple different areas you can go to catch all these different trout guys you can really catch every different type of trout almost everywhere here so since i showed you guys the bridge spot already you can get brown trout you can get the red band trout over here i think you can even grab rainbows this spot here trout layer you can get a lot of brown trout a lot of rainbows this spot over here nature's charming hardcore you get a lot of rainbows so if you're specifically looking for rainbows come over here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to this spot here if we can't get any brown trout or anything else here then we'll swap spots up we're gonna go to nature's charming hardcore now if you guys have seen my other falcon video it goes a little bit more in depth on each different location so i will link that in the description down below but you can catch trout all over the place here, guys. So for my setup, I'm going to be using 1-0 hooks with marshmallows. I also do have some small minnows, which work great as well. So if you want to use those, give those a shot. Spawn sack will work. Night crawlers will work. It's really up to you. But I want to save some small minnows for now. So I'm going to go ahead and use marshmallows. And then I'm also going to be using the turtle spoon here. Some other options are the barbless narrow spoon and the barbless Na nano spinner. This is going to give you more XP as well. So whatever you want to use, give it a shot. But for now, I'm going to start off with the turtle spinner and maybe I'll change it up. Only do this if you have a couple extra markers. I'm going to do this just to show you guys. I'm going to delete these before I do leave the lake. But yeah, I'm going to create a little bit of an outline here. And that way, when I go fishing, I can see exactly where it's nice and deep. So anywhere in between all these markers is nice and deep. That's where we're going to go fishing. And we're just going to cast out like so. We're in peak time right now. So let's just throw one over there. And remember, this rod does kind of suck, guys don't expect too much from it or not this rod the other rod the omni float is the bad rod this one here with the blue bobber is the bad rod i mixed them up on the spots here but yeah that's the bad one it's gonna be tough to bring in big fish with that especially the trout remember we had a tough time bringing in trout with that so you might not want to even use it here you don't have to uh, i just brought it for the pan fish but we are going to be upgrading that very very soon i'm just going to be using twitching here nothing nothing too crazy gonna let the turtle spoon sink down a little bit and we are good to go i'm gonna use the auto twitching method make things a little bit easier and there we go we got a nice fish on gonna be a trout obviously we need all three kinds so i don't have to be picky or anything Let's see what we got here rainbow oh no cutthroat trout never mind i forgot they had those here this is our new rod in action as well. It's going to be a little bit overkill for this area. Awesome. We got a Oregon Red Band Trout. We got a trophy. Nice 284 XP, $370. It's a little bit OP. This is going to be a little bit uh, better for the bash at the Everglades. I didn't want to buy something that wasn't a big enough of an upgrade. You know, you don't want to just buy minor upgrades all the time. So I just went ahead and grabbed it for now. It'll be handy once we get those uni rainbows on. Then it'll be handy for sure. But for everything else, it's a little bit overpowered. We grabbed a nice young rainbow trout. Still rocking the marshmallows. Might go over to the small minnows soon. We just need the brown trout. I typically find the other two spots better for brown trout. The one by the bridge and then the one opposite of this spot. Very, very good. If we don't catch one in the next couple of minutes, maybe I'll swap it up just to show you guys exactly where to go. But you can catch them all over the place here, guys. It's not exactly hard. It is just a little bit of RNG. So if you can't catch one here, swap over to the, the log bridge spot again or go over to the boat spawn area. Come on over to trout layer, guys. This is where you're going to want to catch the brown trout. Again, I did say you can catch them over at the log bridge spot. You can also grab your boat there. We're going to walk over here just to this side right here. And we're just going to cast right out in front of us. Nothing too crazy. You'll grab brown trout here. But again, if you don't grab it here, go check out that other spot over by the uh, log bridge. That works perfectly. You also get rainbow here we're just gonna cast not even that far out in front of us just a little bit 
like so and we'll do our other rod just to the right here a little bit and you guys should be good to go you'll catch a brown trout this way literally the second i started reeling and we got this fish on it's gonna be a brown trout that's gonna be our luck we're gonna have good luck fishing today we're gonna get all the fish we need nice and quickly it's not gonna take long at all for us oh no it wasn't a brown trout that sucks nice little young rainbow trout finally grabbed the brown trout it took a little bit i actually didn't get a bite over here for like so long and then i finally got one but yeah you can definitely grab them here guys and you can also grab them over at the log bridge we grabbed that barbless spinner 14 grams three odd hook size nice reward there for us that's pretty much all there is to falcon guys we are done all the missions here other than the monster mission of course which we actually can't even do just yet but we will come back and do that we're also gonna have to come back and do some of these other stuff here uh, i believe there's yeah this bass one we got to come back and catch so there's a couple things we'll have to come back and do here but falcon very very easy not a lot of different types of fish there's mainly just trout a couple different types of bass a couple panfish and that's all there is here guys nice and easy it's a great great lake to just sit here and farm which is probably what i'm gonna do to build up some money here before we go to the next lake but i hope you guys enjoyed this video falcon lake nice and easy trout fishing super fun i will catch you guys in the next episode thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you guys later